So here we have what's his data. Pre, post. Level of performance. One is professional, two is amateur. We can see that. And then you've got the intervention, whether they have the vibration or they have the control. And we want to know if there's been a difference between the pre and the post, whether the level of performance makes a difference, and whether the intervention makes a difference. So what are we going to do? We are going to run a repeated measures ANOVA. Gosh! So we go to analyze, down the analyze button, analyze, and as they get more exciting as they come down, they get more exciting at descriptives. No! Tables. No! Compare means. No! Although we could do compare means, that would give us a nice mean scores. We're going straight for the exciting stuff here because Ross cannot contain his excitement for repeated measures. So within factor name, and we can label that by going pre post. And there are two levels pre and post. We add that in. No need for these. <laughs> these are for manovers. We only run a manover when we want to be arrested. So then we put in our pre and our post as our within subjects. Our intervention is between groups. One group with the intervention, the other didn't. And the other is our level of performance. Then what we want to do is go to plots. We want the intervention as a picture. So the separate lines are pre and post. Oops, I think I might do that uh, that way. Yes, I never said I could get the graphs right. No! Uh, but that will chuck them in. And we'll chuck them in like that, just so we can have a picture of them. Beautiful. Options. Plus hots, we really need the options. Options. What we want for options is the descriptives and the effect size. You can see how big the difference is. Big the difference is. And we can click lots of buttons, but we're not going to do all of that because we don't want to be bamboozled by the amount of output. And then we click the magic button. The magic button is OK. Ready? OK. Gosh, the excitement is beyond. Beyond. Anyone can ever dream of here the general, 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 general linear model. It's processing, it's processing. <gasps> and there we have, we've got slightly uneven numbers here. There's the you know, vibration is 18, control 18, pro 16, amateur 20. And there's our mean scores. And our mean scores, we'll go down there, pro 1.15. 0.18 amateur control 1615 vibration 0 0.14 0 0.14 0 0.17 for amateur control so it, it's some small differences I don't know quite what they mean so there's our big effect so we have a pre post effect yes there has been a difference significant difference there is significance 0 0.02 effect size 0 0.26 by big pre post by the intervention, no difference there, 0 0.28, 0 0.223, 0 0.228, small effect size, and the, the neither, so the only difference you've got is the pre post. I'm talking to the microphone, it's recording it, and he's going to get a film of this on YouTube. Um, Helen's looking at me and I'm mad and I'm mad and I'm mad madder than a mad madman. Um, so, here we go. Vibration V control. That says it looks, that shows the graph beautifully in that pre post they've both um, reduced that score. Um, vibration control. Well, it looks like that. It looks like an interaction's going, but it's not significant in that the control group haven't changed. The vibration group have, if that's the right. There's a definite difference between one and two for the vibration group. Look. Oh, 
Okay, well this, I don't think this is the real data, and we will look at this more specifically later. So goodbye from me, and goodbye from Sweep. Mm.